the Titanic might be happening for Kansas City here. Here comes Allen with the keep and the leap. Oh, what a run by Josh Allen. How many times could you watch that, right? Over and over again, those late game heroics by Josh Allen setting up then that go ahead touchdown pass to Dawson Knox, propelling the Bills to the 24 20 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. And with that win, they head into the bye week, the sole leaders atop the AFC. Now they get to take a little break, get a little R&R, &R, the Chiefs and the Jets sitting right behind the Bills at four and two. Now here are the guys coming home overnight. These are the fans gathered to see them as they got off the plane at the airport. So many people there. Now it's been 266 days since their season ended in Arrowhead and the Bills Mafia here in a much better mood this time around. We spoke with some fans there at the airport to see the Bills who said they could not pass up the opportunity to greet the guys after such a win. My heart couldn't take the last part of the game, but we pulled it through. But this is the first time I've been out here for the greet the Bills coming home and my heart is pounding. <laughs> Yeah, so exciting. I think we all felt like that. And our sports director, Matt Bovey, had a front row seat for this thriller of a game, breaking down that big win for us this morning. Well, I'm sure if you were a Bills fan, you were waking up in a much better mood than you would have if the Bills would have lost at Arrowhead like they've done the last couple times in the playoffs. You can call it revenge, you can call it redemption, really whatever you want. But this time around, the Bills did enough to get a win. After the game, they tried to play it cool, like this is just another win. But deep down, they even have to admit this one meant just a little bit more. Uh, there were still some um, bad memories from this place last year. Um, so it's kind of nice to wipe that off of our minds and uh, to get a win and keep moving on, especially a win going into the bye week. That makes everything nicer. And on Sunday, we saw the Bills stars show out. Guys like Josh Allen, Von Miller, Stephon Diggs. They were the ones that made game changing plays when the team needed them the most. That was our only goal to come in here and um, if it's if it's by one, it's by 100. Um, it's, it's another win, and um, it's what we're trying to do each and every week. Good team, you got to beat the good teams. And uh, as we approach it each and every week, we want to win. Got to get one in the win column. So it's like, uh, it'll feel good. So what's next for the Bills? Well, it's some time off. Josh Allen said he's going to golf, he's going to play more golf, and then he's going to golf again. The rest of the team probably going to travel home, but the Bills. They can afford a little bit of a rest. Five and one, the best record in the AFC. The next time we see them on the field when they host Sunday night football against the Green Bay Packers the day before Halloween. Reporting in Kansas City, Matt Bove, 7 Sports. Some well-deserved rest. Matt, thank you. Now, remember, it was Taron Johnson's interception that stopped the Chiefs' final drive to end the game, but another key player on defense had a drive of his own. I want to – actually, you know what? Let's take a look at what some of the bills are oh, – what are we looking at here? We're looking at some tweets. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Safety Jordan Poyer. He was cleared to play, but not cleared to fly with the team. So Poyer drove. He drove 15 hours across five states. Then he played every single defensive snap. He had four tackles. Luckily, with the bye week, of course, he's going to have plenty of time to drive back to Western New York. Now, here are the tweets I wanted to show you as well. Some really happy Bills players taking to Twitter after the win, as you can imagine. Guard Roger Saffold taking a photo with the offensive line, tweeting big dubs. <laughs> Love you, Buffalo. Sign the trenches. And then tight end Dawson Knox saying, did somebody say big dubs? And then Jordan Poyer echoing that tweet. And linebacker Terrell Dodson shouting out Poyer for his dedication, as we just mentioned, driving from Buffalo to Kansas City and back since he was not medically cleared to fly.